Alright YouTubers, welcome back to the Anonymous Miner channel and today I'm going to go over with you how to get your 6000 series AMD graphics card to double mine. You can check this out right here. I've got my test bench set up. It is an RX 6800 pushing about 96 mega hash and you can see that up here as well. Let me scroll up a little bit. I actually have two miners running. I have G Miner and NB Miner. Uh, G Miner is pushing 56.23 mega hash and NB Miner is also pushing an additional 40 mega hash. And again, this is on one single card. So, how am I able to get almost 100 mega hash on an RX 6800 non XT? You can see it right here non XT. Well, the fact is, I'm not. It is a glitch. So, that is what I want to go over with you guys today. I want to show you actually this is showing that I am mining right here NB miner to Hyvon pool I'm gonna show you that in a second and this is G miner to ether mine alright so I'm gonna go show my tracking right now and there is a large discrepancy between what it actually shows here okay on my miners in Hive OS and what I am actually receiving okay so let's go over to ether mine first so ether mine is going to be this 56 mega hash right here that i'm reporting and you can also see again that this is not a small average i let this run for about two hours okay so it's been running for about two hours and it's still reporting that it's almost 100 mega hash however let's again go look at ether mine and what is this now? My current is 43, my average is 33, my reported is 50.9. So that's looking kind of low on this one worker here. Um, now let's go look at the Hyvon pool. And in the Hyvon pool, whoa, now what's going on here? Look at this. I only have 4.17 mega hash for my worker. And I, I'm not really understanding you know what happened here so what is actually happening here is the miners the mining program on that one graphics card they're actually kind of fighting each other and you can do this you can cause yourself this issue with not having two miners run as well so let's go into this basically what's happening is I got four mega hash here and on ether mine I have 43 mega hash current. This is what I'm actually going to get paid on. And this is the discrepancy here. So this is what's reported right here. That means that my mining software is telling Ethermine that I am hashing at 50.9 mega hashes per second. But in reality, based off of the time that has passed and the valid shares right here that I have submitted, my average is 33.8 and my current is 43. So if we add this 43 to that 4.17 that we have over here and I'm reporting 38 and my average is 17 right so if I add that 4.17 I have not even 60 mega hash whereas if I just put my 6800 regular I can get almost 62 63 mega hash on lower settings and pull a little bit less power so again the issue is that my graphics card is actually performing extra work. It's getting hotter. If we go back over to Hive OS, it's running at 68 degrees on the memory temperature and 49 degrees on the core. That's a little hotter than what I'm used to. And it's because in order to get these numbers up a little bit more, I had to actually turn up my core quite a bit. My core was at about 1350 before and my voltage was 793 and you can see now my voltage is up at 875 and my memory clock is 1075 so I've actually lost a little bit and the issue with this is we are paid by the shares so this is kind of a video for newer miners or miners that don't really understand this concept and I'm gonna go over uh, PPS versus PPLNS and the last type of shares so for this, although we don't like nice hash, nice hash is a nice uh, resource for information a lot of times. And here they talk about full pay per share, which is the last one I didn't previously mention, pay per share and pay per last number of shares. So pay per share means that every share that you get submitted to the pool, you're going to get paid out on. And they're going to basically determine 
based off of the pool reward how much you're going to get based off how many shares you submitted. Now the difference is in full paper share they see these two are the same so that's the same thing pretty much and then this last one here PPLNS now this is what you have to be careful of especially with this um, limited hashing because I'm not submitting shares all the time it may see that I'm disconnected and it says right here so paper last n share system rewards miners only once the block has been found by the pool this means that you will get paid only once the block has been found then the pool goes back in time and checks for valid shares contributed before the winning block this is called a time window so if we scroll down a little bit further it says right here this method comes in handy for miners that do not hop off from pool to pool and have a steady connection note that you may lose all of your work shares if you disconnect from the pool before a block is found and see that's what I'm afraid of is I've been watching this over the last couple of hours especially and it's switching back and forth um, earlier earlier NB miner was pulling a little bit more mega hash and G miner was pulling less and it kind of switches back and forth and that's the issue is if you don't get seen on the pool you may not get paid now neither of these are PPL and S pools these are both PPS pools however this is things that you need to look at when you're mining and just because it shows that I'm getting 90 mega hash 96 mega hash here in Hive OS or in Windows this can happen on either operating system it does not mean you're gonna get paid for that you need to check the best settings for the pool that you're mining to and get paid out accordingly so anyways guys I just wanted to show you that kinda of funny glitch today uh, somebody brought it up in discord and I really appreciate them bringing it up in discord it's very interesting I know a lot of the other experienced miners in the field or in the community have uh, talked about this before your actual hash rate versus your, ex your accepted share hash rate and that that's what you really need to worry about however I personally have never seen such a drastic or crazy example of that where it shows I'm getting 96 mega hash over the last two hours and I'm actually getting paid for less than 60 I mean that's a huge discrepancy um, so I just wanted to show you guys that and kind of talk about this that's something that you definitely need to check Again, just because it shows that I've got 96 mega hash here does not mean that that's what I'm going to get paid for. In fact, that is not what I'm getting paid for. I'm getting paid for what is being accepted on these pools. So, thank you guys for tuning in to the Anonymous Miner channel today. If you could like, comment, subscribe, share this with your friends if they don't know about this, I would really appreciate that. And I will see you on the next one.